Hey guys, Wild, and I decided, just because for the fucking hell of it, since I said I was going to be at the fucking U.S. Nationals or North Amer American World Championship Qualifiers, I get a little recap from my weekend, and I guess, since I always do that whenever I go to an event, I'll do a deck profile as well, even though, uh, spoilers, I didn't do that well for anyone that's on Facebook, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, since I didn't tell anyone before the event when I was playing, I'm just gonna play fucking show it or what I was gonna play. Fire Kings. There's a reason why it's on sleeve. It's because yeah, I'll get into it. But Fire Kings was my choice for Nats because I was thinking about it and I was playtesting with a lot of ideas with it and I actually got it to a really good consistent build and like I was doing a ton of playtesting with it and it was actually doing some nice damage and I got it to deal with a lot of like the meta problems because I figured a lot of what the top decks were going to be was like a lot of Gyrgia, um, Light Sworn, and Hat, which Fire Kings inherently is able to deal with Hat, and then uh, Gyrgia doesn't like constant Grunix pop, so I have enough uh, anti back row shit to keep Grunix alive, and then Light Sworns, I'll show what I have later, but it's not, as long as I don't let them have too much, you know, Light Sworns is a diff, well not the best matchup for anyone really so yeah but you know fire kings it was testing well so i figured i would do it i could have played gear gear but i probably should have but i felt like i wanted to go with something a bit out of the ordinary just because i don't know i felt like going in with something completely standard would be worse because everyone would be expecting it and i'd have a lot of hate in the sense like you know people having their sideboards or main boards uh catered to it but like fire kings no one really expect, but you know, whatever. But anyways, uh, I guess just quick summary of the weekend. It was fun. It was actually really fun. I'm really glad I went just because it was nice. Um, so you know, we flew in Thursday and like I got to see everyone complain on Facebook about having to drive there. So that was funny. But it was like you know, I just wanted to fly because none of us had good cars and I didn't feel like taking a fucking bus. So I was just like, fuck it. I'll spare my first expense or I'll spare the expense for my first nap. So got there and just relaxed for the day because. We spent too much time out the night before, just at locals. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so got there, did nothing. Friday, obviously first day of the event. Uh, it was just nice walking around, getting some trades done, uh, just getting my buddies' uh, deck together and just figuring out what everyone else is doing for the event, just getting trades done, blah, blah, blah. Met a few people there, which also I'm going to say sorry to the guy I was supposed to battle at Nats. Um, yeah, it's just obviously it wasn't the most uh, unhectic of times, but I will make it to you sometime if you hit me up. But um, yeah, I did actually meet a couple fans there. I was, took a selfie with one and signed their mats. Hey, guy, I didn't actually get your name. I'm sorry, but yeah, I don't know. I was just kind of floating around and was being really spacey too. So I'm sorry if I came off a little bit weird. It was just like, you know, I was, I don't know. <laughs> I'm also not that good at interactions. So yeah, I'm sorry if I came off at any negative way I guess but um yeah and then the rest of Friday was just play testing and whatever uh Saturday obviously main event woke up early went there uh fucking met other people got to meet Vex finally so I guess that's cool I don't fucking know but you know but anyways uh since Saturday was main event quick recap what happened with that um so round one I actually was at table 21 playing mythic rulers uh it actually went pretty down to the wire game three I did kind of misdo it a little bit by keeping in my wiretaps but i thought he like we went into time right as time was or we started our game three right when time was called because both game one and two were pretty back and forth so i mean it, it was going pretty well it, he just had the right resources at the right time but at least in game one and game two i just had the right stuff but game three um i mean i misdid it a bit by keeping in wiretaps but uh I mean, the problem was that I drew both my wiretaps and no real back row, and Mythic Rulers, you know, they generate their advantage just fine, so I couldn't really keep up just because of the fact that I fucking had no real back row. I mean, I should have probably sided those out, but I thought, you know, he might be trying to keep in his traps, so I neg a bit while he maintains some sort of advantage is what I was thinking, but it didn't work out, and I fucking drew them all, so yeah, that, that, that was kind of shitty, but... You know, it happens, but it was a great match otherwise. But then uh, round two, played Evil Swarm, which shouldn't be that hard of a matchup considering I still play the Bears, 
I, you know, still have everything I should need, but, uh, I just fucking drew absolute shit. Like, the fact that when I was testing, I had a good, consistent Evil Swarm matchup, and I didn't do well against it, just because I was just not getting anything good. Like, I was getting absolute horseshit, and he was just getting the fucking nuts. Yeah, that did not help. So, I lost against that, too, and then round three, I played Herald. Fucking lost to that, and then dropped, because... Game one, first turn Herald, and then it was just a struggle to try and get some advantage, which I just, yeah. I didn't have enough to go off super soon, so, yeah. Game two, though, I got first turn Light Imprisoning Mirror and Vanities, but he just had Defenders, but I eventually finished him off. And then game three, he got first turn Herald again, and I, yeah, really, I had no way to, uh, get it the herald once it was out and he already had generated a decent amount of hand advantage so i really didn't have anything so i just fucking dropped because there was no point and i could just play inside events and then after that i decided to actually take apart fire kings just because i was like yeah i, I don't want to deal with this stupidity again like it's just annoying when i did actually test it out decently enough and then it's like oh no we're just gonna brick on you like i get that happens and i get like you know whatever but it's just annoying when I tested it both in real life and on simulators. It had a really good consistency to it, and then it was just like, nope. But, you know, that's life. So, I went and played side events with, uh, Fat. Uh, just fucking... And then I experienced the same luck, because I entered a regional on Saturday, and I fucking scrubbed out round one, because I was playing Bougians, and I opened one game with all monsters, and then game two, um, I didn't really have any good responsive shit, so, you know, that's how it goes. But then... On Sunday, uh, you know, I went late, but I was able to get into a regional, like, last second, and I was actually able to win, so I got my invite for next year, got the deck box, and I also got the Fusion mat, so, you know, that was pretty nice. It was actually really funny what happened in the regional, too, just, like, because round one, I was, I was playing Fat, which, by the way, if you want to see a deck profile of that, I can show it at some other time, just because... I don't know, whatever, if you want to, but I don't know. Round one, I was playing against Mermails, and in uh, game three, what happened was uh, I went for duality, and uh, I took DeFi off the duality. He was playing Mermails, so he just has like a set monster and then two set back row, so I go, okay, add DeFi off of uh, the duality, good? He's like, sure. I go, activate DeFi. He goes, chain sphere to special summon pike, pike discard uh marksman or infantry and i was like um pike doesn't activate immediately you have to let me resolve the chain first because he was chaining sphere to my uh fissures resolution and i was like yeah that doesn't work we had actually called a judge over for it but yeah i won that and then round two it was fucking princess plants round three bougians and then round four it was uh gear Gia, which i actually resolved all through my morale text one game, and then the other game, I don't know, I, I just had enough advantage, so the deck actually worked how it was supposed to, so yeah, I, I drew way too many morale texts though in those, but yeah, anyway, so I was able to get my invite for next year, so I at least got that out of the way, which was nice, and made the, you know, horrible actual main event not be as bad, so, works for me, but uh, anyways, I want to show this deck just because, honestly, I did really like, or the Fire King deck, just because I really did like it, and... I don't know, I feel like showing it just because it, honestly, I might be playing it a bit of next format, even when Shadals are a thing, just because, I don't know, it seems like it might be good, but I'm just going to quick get into it. Um, I accidentally hit the stop recording button when I fucking was moving the webcam, but anyways, as I was about to say, just quick show the fucking deck, just because, like I said, I liked it, and I figure might as well show it just because I want to, but anyways... Let's quick get into it. Uh, first start, like I said, I unsleeved it just because I was fucking playing fat. So, and I'll probably be playing that for a bit. But anyways, Triple Grunix. Um, a lot of people only play two, but with how the deck plays, like, you generate... Well, first of all, three Yaksha as well. Just because getting into these quick as possible. I actually like drawing these just because circle plays with Yaksha are amazing. Especially since I do run the hands in this deck. Um, I don't know. Yaksha becomes... A lot more quote-unquote live so having the Grunixes in hand is just fine plus with the fact that bottomless is overspammed and deep prison is overspammed 
I like having the extra assurance of three, and it really doesn't clog that much unless, you know, you're just fucking bricking hard, but, you know, with the triple yaksha and the circles and the fucking hands working in, it's, it's nice. And then, uh, three barong standard, so those are the Fire King monsters. Um, next, I'm running a 2-2 two -two line of the hands. I would run a 3-3 three -three line, but I didn't want to oversaturate it, just... I don't know, I like the hands, even though, like, yes, it's a graveyard effect, just like the other Fire Kings, it, it's still good, because, you know, free fucking advantage, plus, the fact that you can circle for a Fire Hand is amazing, they're like, okay, attack your Garunix, um, chain circle, bring out Fire Hand, attack in my Fire Hand, pop a monster, go get an Ice Hand, it's like, just get fucking instant advantage off, like, yeah, it's just, it's too good to not run the hands, and... A 2-2 two -two line doesn't clog it up too much, so you can still focus on the Fire King engine a bit, but have the availability of the hands. So, I don't know, I like him. Um, two Bear, just because I figured with Gear Gear format being a thing, Bear would be helpful. Um, if it was anything besides Gear Gear or anything that Bear didn't help with, I usually side out one. And then uh, to round out the monster lineup, just uh, Wolf Bark, because Wolf Bark standard. So that's, uh, I think I had like 16 monsters and then 12 spells, 12 traps. Something like that? I don't know. Fucking whatever. But anyways, on to the spells. Um, three Onslaught, just because, you know, game one I want to open with this. If I'm going first, I'll side one out uh, in games two or three. And then, you know, but otherwise, I like getting this as quick as possible. Because blah, 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 and three is too good. And then uh, three Circle, like, Circle is way too fucking good. This is what wins me games. Like, I know people a while ago were like, only run two circles or even still today would probably be like you know circles not that good but just with the hands existing this card instantly becomes more alive and the fact that a lot of people are more geared towards traps right now makes us a lot better and it's just you avoid so much and you are just gaining advantage just from this card so i mean circle alone wins me games so i fucking love it um and then triple tanky because it's fucking fire kings uh, double Lance, just because, I don't know, I figured game one, it'd be better to have the Lances, and then if I need the MSTs, I'll bring them in, just because I'm, again, expecting more of a back row heavy format than a, uh, you know, than something I really need space for, so I figured we'll go Lances first to respond to their back row trying to hit my shit, and then we'll worry about whatever later, so those, and then Wonder Kindling, you know, the most unseen card of the deck, but it still does work when I get it. But, yeah, I don't know. I hate Rekindling, but at the same time, like it. I would play Soul Charge. It's just deck space is really tight with how I have it, you know, uh, laid out. But, anyways, that's it for the spells. Traps. Two Call the Haunted, obviously, just because Fire Kings are really good with Call the Haunted. You know, bring back your Gurnix, bring back any of your Fire Kings, get instant plus off of it. So, you know, it works. Um, and then the tech I was talking about earlier is two Skill Drains, because, uh, you know, a lot of this format... The previous format was focusing on effects obviously like the only thing that really would hurt me is if they brought out like a blaster or something otherwise skill drain it's like sure i don't get the field wipe but they aren't gaining their advantage that they need so i don't know i think this that skill drain is amazing so i don't know my fucking computer is messing up but anyways yeah skill drain i think is a great card in this deck because most of your effects activate in the grave like the only ones that matter would be like the bears the wolf bark and the garunix but you can play around that factor usually and it's just i don't know i like it but eh, it's you know it's still skill drain whatever but and then another tech card i had was one vanity's emptiness just because you should be de destroying enough of your own stuff that vanities you know it should help slow them down and then you can gain your advantage back very quickly and just wipe the floor with them. I don't know. I only did one just because that's what I had the space for, and it's, I don't know. I think it's a very good card. And then, uh, two Deepras, just because I wanted some battle traps, and I figured Deepras would be good. I don't know. There's nothing else I really wanted too badly, and I just wanted those. Uh, double wiretap because preparing for the format, and, uh, I figured, you know, it, it's a staple at this point, and the only match that's not good for is Light Swarms, but. You know, I'd rather be prepared for more of the format than less of it, so I, I like wiretaps. And then, uh, you know, these three, because they exist and they're good, because TT is amazing in this deck. Anyways, uh, let's go to side deck really quick.
Um, anyway, side deck, two crows, only monsters I played just because, you know, they do stuff and they're good. Um, I don't know. I just figured it'd be good for a bigger part of the meta. I didn't want to, I didn't, I felt like crows would be better than max C's just because it's easier to play out of a max C than it is a crow. So that's what I figured. Um, dark hole, just because it's well, good in this deck and blah, 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 blah. Uh, two debunks because debunks just a good card right now. <laughs> Especially with Hat winning Nats, so yeah. And then the other two Vanny's Emptiness, just to really side hardcore for like Light Swarms and Dragon Rulers and just anything that spams way harder. It's just slow them down while I'm able to gain my advantage right afterwards. And then uh, third Wire Tap and third Skill Drain just to, you know, kill the decks that these hurt even harder and make me be happy. I don't know. And then two Light Mirrors just for the Bougian and the. Uh, and the lights were matchup just because you know it stops them and it'll make my life easier and then uh mind control for just the fact that i'm a rank four deck for the most part with garunix and then yeah mind control is just good and then triple space because kind of need it for when they do their sideboard and then let's go to the extra deck um dweller standard uh two tiger king is standard fucking kagasuchi standard uh Emerald mainly just because I run the hands, so you know, just put back hands and then set another hand that turn or whatever. So I mean, it works, I guess. Uh, Diamond Dire only ran one just because you don't really exceed that much, and I'd honestly rather do other things than just Diamond Dire. So I don't know. Um, Exton Cowboy. A lot of people are cutting this, but it's still really good. But whatever. I had space, so I could fill it in. Um, Honor Arc Black Ship. Uh, Rhapsody and Berserk, just because it's a good card right now, but I never really make it, so whatever. Um, Heartland Draco, to, you know, try and push your game. Uh, Ragna Zero. Uh, Felgrand, just because I can make it in just those random situations where it could help. Um, and then Crazy Box, because I'm playing Skill Drain, so I kind of should do that. So, yeah, I don't know. But, anyways, um... That is Fire Kings, and that's my Nats report, so hope you guys enjoyed, um, I don't know, if you guys want to see the deck profile of that, I can do that, it's just, I wanted to do this deck first, just because, you know, I feel like, with this coming format too, the fact that we're going into the five card thing, that decks that go second are going to be really sought after, and this is a deck that can go second, and I think will still be a strong choice for next format just because it'll slow down a little bit and uh that'll help this deck gain advantage so i don't know we'll see what is what the next format's going to be like just with the whole five card thing but um you know i i, I still like this deck i'm still going to play it i'm just going to play with fat for a bit just because you know whatever <laughs> just because this deck pissed me off because it decided to brick on me for a day but anyways um that's me for this so Hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such a blah. Rock on sub, and later, guys.